Good morning, guys. Okay, let me take this off. I was just playing euphonium, so please excuse my giant ring. Um, but today I'm going to talk about how you can clean your trumpet. Now, this also goes for euphoniums. It can also go for tubas, but tubas, we usually get yours flushed. So don't worry about it. And euphoniums, we usually get yours flushed as well, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. But trumpets especially, I'm going to be talking to you. So, let's talk about how we clean our trumpet. Now, I know you guys know how to oil your valves. We are going to go over that today as well. But I want to talk about a deep clean. And by that, I mean giving your trumpet a bath. So, Brass instruments are extremely cleanly and hygienic, and the reason is because is we can literally give the entire instrument a bath or clean it kind of like you would a glass. So what I would like you to do is follow these steps and you can give your instrument a bath, especially around this time of COVID and things like that is a good idea to give your trumpet a bath. I would say I do mine about every month, but I would say for you about every three months is great. Or if you get sick, I would clean your trumpet. That way you start with a fresh instrument that's completely clean. Um, so first things first, you want to disassemble. So I'm going to take out the mouthpiece, put it to the side, and then I'm going to do my valves next. So you guys know you're going to go from here and loosen this up, lefty loosey, and pull out those valves. I'm going to put them down in order, number one, two, and three. And if you're wondering why I keep saying numbers, it's not just for your fingers, but if you physically look on a valve, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but there's literally a little number two right there. So they really do have numbers on them. There's a one, there's a two, and there's a three. Um, and those numbers come in handy when you put these valves back in or even when you oil them. Okay, so my valves are out. You can also take off the bottom caps, which is great, because sometimes they get all nice and grungy in there. So if you wanted to, lefty Lucy, take it off. And you can actually take these off, and put them in warm water where you're gonna put everything else and give these a nice clean. So you can take all the bottom pieces off. And I would also suggest taking out all of your slides. So after you take out the valves, take off the bottom caps from the bottom of the valve casings, you can pull out the slides. So there is one back here that you can pull out. There is another small, small one right here attached to the second valve casing right here that you can pull out. And then there are two on the front of your trumpet. So there's the big one here, the main tuning slide that you can pull out. And then there's also this one here, which most likely has a ring here for you to use. So you wanna pull out all the slides and when you do, your trumpet's gonna be looking pretty bare. Then what you're gonna do is fill up a tub with enough water to almost basically just cover all the slides um, of lukewarm water. So my rule of thumb is if you'd be comfortable putting a baby in it, you can put your trumpet in it. Now, let's talk about these valves because this is really the only thing that you need to further take apart before you put in this warm water. So. If you look on a valve, there is probably some felt right here. And then if you lift this part right here, you'll probably find some felt or some cork right here. You do not want to get the felt wet. What the felt does is basically makes it so when you press down your valves, it doesn't make a clicking sound. If you get them wet, they start to deteriorate over time. So what I would suggest is taking those two little pieces off. And it's really not that hard. So what you're going to do, there's the top cap for your valve. There is this little rod here and then this part that moves. What I would do is you hold this rod nice and firm and then with the top key, you're gonna turn to the left and it will actually unscrew off of the top of the valve. And then you can pull this off, put it to the side and pull the little piece of felt off and put it to the side. And then you can wash the whole thing. If you wanna put the top cap back on to wash it in there, you can. Honestly, I just leave mine off because this doesn't really get dirty. Um, and so this is the part that I would put in the tub next to my trumpet and all of my slides. Now, once you've disassembled, you've sat it in the warm water for a little bit, you can literally take dish soap like from your kitchen and you can either put it on your hands or on a wash rag and go in there and start to rub down all of your slides. Um, right here, you can rub them down on the outside and rub them with a wash rag, get them nice and soapy and cleaned off. And then also, if you got your cleaning kit, if you got one, it came with some brushes. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what we use them for. There's actually three in this kit. There is this one, which is all wound up. This is called a snake. This you can actually use 
very gently to push inside your trumpet to clean it out. So for example, if I wanna clean this main slide here, I could take this in the warm soapy water with a little soap on the brush and push it in and pull it back out and it will scrub the inside of that trumpet and get it nice and clean, which is awesome. And you can do that here. You can do it where you pulled all your little slides out, just pushing in and out and just make sure you pulled out the way that it went in. The other slides are in here are awesome for cleaning your mouthpiece and your valve. So let's look at the one for the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece I clean a lot, very often, because this is the one thing that really touches my mouth. You can literally run this under warm soapy water, put a little soap on there, take your mouthpiece brush, which is shaped kind of like a cone, go in there, scrub it, go from the back, push it in, twist, pull it out, and you will have a freshly cleaned mouthpiece. It's very fast, you can do this anytime. Now let's talk about valves. So the valves are very much like a piston in a car. It has got open little cylinders here. And what you wanna do is you are going to obviously put this in the warm water and then put some dish soap on it. Once you've cleaned the outside with that wash rag, you can then go in with this little brush. If you want to, you can put a little dish soap on here, get it wet. And you are going to, in the direction of the hole, put the brush in. I turn to the right in and then reverse it back out and it will clean the inside of those little holes. And that really helps your valves to function better. So if you've been oiling your valves and noticing that they're still a little sluggish, it's probably because you just need to clean out your valves and give your trumpet a bath. Now, once you've gone through, you've scrubbed everything down with some dish soap, you've used your brushes, everything's looking nice and clean. And if you don't have these brushes, it's not the end of the world. I would definitely invest in some. This kit is not very much music at West Music. You can probably also get one on like Amazon. But once you've washed everything, rinsed it off, I take my things and I lean them up against the wall with the slides facing down. So like if I had my slide right here, I would lean it against the wall like this with this part facing down. So the water will drip out of it. And I like put a towel underneath it and all the water will come out. And once I've let it set for a second, I take the towel and I start to dry down my trumpet. I wipe down all the slides with the towel and clean everything off. You'll wanna use an old towel. And then it is time to put all my stuff back together. So when you're going to put your slides back in, um, you just want to use some tuning slide grease, which also comes in the kit. We also asked you to grab it. You can get this anywhere, but it is just called tuning slide grease. It looks a lot like chapstick. All you're gonna do is take your finger, put a little bit on there, you don't need a lot, and rub it on the part of the slide that goes in the trumpet. So you can see this is the outer, and this is the one that goes in, so that's where I'm gonna put it. And then on my trumpet, you can see this one faces out and this one's gonna go in. So I'm gonna put a little on there. And then I actually work mine in one at a time. So I'll put one side in and work it, put the other side in and twist that around a bit and get it all in there. And then I just slide it right on. So you're gonna do that for all your slides. And then um, you're gonna oil your valves and put those back in. When you put them back in, remember that valve number one goes closest to your face. Valve number two goes second in the middle. And valve number three is the one that's closest to your bell. Okay. If you would like to see more about oiling your valves and how to put them in there correctly, I'll make a separate video. So this one isn't super long, but that is the gist of how you give your trumpet a bath. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me or speak to me about it. I do this all the time and I'll see you guys later. Bye.